In an overpopulated world with variable weather, eroded soils, with ever higher contamination levels, and with thousands of people tirelessly seeking to make positive contribution to the environment, hydroponics brings a new alternative for clean and healthy crops. Thanks to its diverse characteristics, it offers us the opportunity to grow vigorous plants free of contamination and disease. Y enfermedades. Hydroponics, a new cultivation alternative. My wife and I have a company, and we produce and sell hydroponic lettuce. In the year 2009, both of us decided that we wanted to change to a new activity. We thought about it and said, well, we want to take advantage of the resources life has given us. And that's how we started thinking about what we could do. We traveled to Bogota to look into greenhouses and the like because we wanted to grow medicinal and aromatic plants. We initially thought about and actually grew calendula and other aromatics. Then we ran into a friend who cultivated hydroponic lettuce and he gave us the idea and he suggested that we start the same cultivation here in Cali. But finally, we consulted with other people who said that there was a real business opportunity growing lettuce. We wanted to take advantage of our proximity to Cali, the state capital, so we could distribute to the Colombian Southwest. That's how we started this company, just two people, a family life project. What is hydroponics? Hydroponics is a technique for cultivating without soil. It is replaced by water with diluted nutrients. The plant can absorb these nutrients, yielding high-quality produce crops free of pesticides and insects, just by making efficient use of water and fertilizers. We were very interested in the fact that the lettuce would be ecological. In this area, water's not abundant, and you also can't cultivate on the soil because it's a forest reserve zone. The hydroponic system in place here is called NFT. It originated in England as a high-tech method of intensive horticultural production. First of all, Jimena and I love the countryside a lot, and we wanted to do something novel and out of the ordinary, and we wanted to introduce a new and healthy product for Valle del Cauca and the surrounding areas. We are both passionate about nature, and we love the countryside. We love living here. So for us, it was very important to be able to have our company inside our property. Hola, Alex. Buenos días. Con Jimena López de Idapa. Bien, gracias. Cuéntame qué te mando para mañana, por favor. Verde Crespa, Verde Lisa, Romana. More than just generating revenue, we are, first of all, interested in making sure that the people that work with us are doing well, love their work, and feel well remunerated. We can look after people, try to help them meet their needs, and we share in the joys and struggles. We're always trying to help out. I think all of us need to assume a commitment to social responsibility. This country and this region will develop alongside its companies. We have nine employees, and we all love our work. We work as a team. My husband and I know how to perform all of the agricultural tasks ourselves, planting, pruning, harvesting, and packaging. So whenever our staff is at full capacity in some task, we can come out and help out. We all work as a team. The company is like one big family. Mauri, buenos días. Bien, ¿tú cómo vas? Cuéntame qué te mando para mañana, por favor. Sí. Verde Lisa también. 
Sí, desde Luisa, Romana. Among the main advantages of hydroponic crops are they generate minimal environmental contamination. They're appropriate for places with water shortages. Plants grow faster and more vigorously. There is a greater number of harvests per year. Crops are hygienic and the soil and vegetable layers are unaffected. <laughs> 